All right, so this is gonna be a little update video on how we shot the Marine Corps Marathon with this camera car here. So I'll give you guys a little tour of that. All right, so we got this rig here. We got some uh, camera crew here. Uh, so these batteries here actually end up adding a lot, quite a lot of weight to this. Um, and it's on a little, uh, there's a damper here, but we have it mostly disabled because uh, this is such a, actually a light load for what this is made for. But um, this moves up and down, which is kind of cool. Uh, I had a bunch of people ask last time, these suction cups, how do you trust these? Like, what if these come undone? Uh, you well, you, you don't. don't trust them. Yeah, you don't trust them. So we have this strapped in pretty tight. So even if this suction cup came undone, this would not move at all. It's on here pretty solid. Um, and then uh, we just have a Sony A1 with a uh, 24 to 105. Uh, the A1 is in Super 35 mode, so we can get a little tighter. This is a uh, gas car, so we have to be uh, pretty far away from the runner um, so that they're not breathing uh, exhaust from the car. So we do end up being pretty tight on this lens. Uh, you can see we've just got a uh, nucleus on there, and uh, we got the screen popped off just so uh, for cooling, and then we have this gaff tape just so the sun doesn't get in the viewfinder and mess any of that up. Uh, and then we've got uh, power for the gimbal here, uh, this is the control signal cable, and uh, this just gets kind of gaff taped to the car. Uh, and then it comes in here, either through the window or we're very careful when we close this door. Uh, we've got controls here, um, so we can kind of move this around. And um, we've got the little uh, small HD monitor here strapped. Um, this is an SDI feed coming from a uh, decimator right here which is kind of feeding all of that. This is a tablet for controlling the camera. This is just over Wi-Fi. It's just an iPad. Uh, and this way we can like tap to focus on whatever we want, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then this is going into a uh, Magewell uh, SDI capture card right here. So there's SDI. Uh, and then we're streaming um, just to uh, like a, you know, cloud CDN. Um, that is then being received uh, by front of house uh, at the finish line. Uh, they have a big LED wall. Um, and also I believe NBC News, the local NBC Channel 4 is also taking our feed once in a while. And then in the back of the car, um, we've got some power here. Um, we have enough power to run this for like 20 hours or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's most of the setup, so. So yeah, that's the setup. We're doing this on a rehearsal day, um, the actual marathon. We have to be there at two in the morning because they close down all the highways. Um, so we have to kind of show up really early before they close the roads so that we can rig up the camera car and, uh, and get all that going. So uh, yeah, pretty fun gig. And here we are at the pace car. This is at the very end. You can see our lens got a bit dusty there, but otherwise it survived pretty well. And uh, we're still good on battery life. And now we get to unload while uh, more of the marathon runners come in. Let's get to the marathon leaders right now. We can show you a live picture of them as they are leading this marathon. Kyle Smith is currently in the lead. He is pacing at a five minute mile. Arlington's own Tessa Barrett. She's pacing at about a six minute mile.